Hey folks, Pastor Jim Thomas here from the Village Chapel in Nashville, Tennessee with your daily devotional. I'm going to read a little bit from uh, Piercing Heaven, Prayers of the Puritans. They've been updated a little bit in terms of the English language that's used, uh, but these are prayers of, of a variety of different uh, of, the, of the folks that were called Puritans from England as well as from America back in the 17th and 18th century. This one from Philip Doddridge, uh, 18th century, born 1702 actually. He was the youngest of, get this, 20 children in his family. That's right. Can you imagine trying to just get a dinner roll? I mean, you know, just trying to be one that got a bowl of soup or whatever. I mean, wow, what that that must have been like uh, to be one of 20 uh, in a household back then. His parents died actually when he was pretty young. Um, he had some help along the way in terms of uh, getting some schooling and eventually became a pastor in Northampton, England. He served there for 22 years and wrote quite a bit, wrote a, a, lot, a lot of hymns actually. Uh, and then some of his uh, treatises or some of his uh, essays that he would write had a uh, far-reaching impact. Matter of fact, uh, William Wilberforce, the great abolitionist who fought against the scourge of the slave trade, was impacted in a big way by Philip Doddridge and uh, in terms of his own faith and becoming a Christian. So let me read this prayer. It's uh, Doddridge's uh, amplification, if you will, of the Lord's Prayer, which as you remember, we've all probably got it memorized begins our Father who art in heaven. And just look at what he does and the way he amplifies this and just pray along as I as I read this. And uh, I might break for a comment, but remember the Lord's listening too. And it's we'll, we'll just make this next few moments together uh, sort of a prayer and a dialogue, okay? Our Father, you are seated on a throne of glory in the highest heaven. And we bow before your awful presence with humble reverence. Even so, we approach you with the confidence that we are your children and you are our bountiful and compassionate parent. Now, that just takes those first two words of the Lord's Prayer in a just whole new uh, it opens it wide open, doesn't it? It's to a great vista of, of what it means when we say our Father. Let me read that part one more time and then we'll cruise through the rest. Our Father, you are seated on a throne of glory in the highest heaven, and we bow before your awful presence with humble reverence. Even so, we approach you with the confidence that we are your children and you are our bountiful and compassionate parent. We join our prayers to you with hearts full of brotherly love and ask for each other the blessings we seek for ourselves. <laughs> Above all, we desire your glory. May your name be set apart and holy. May the whole world of living creatures join us to give you the honor you so deserve and require. May your kingdom come and your will be done among us. Help us to know, to understand, and to pursue your kingdom. And may your will always wise and gracious be done on earth just as it is in heaven. Teach us mortals to resign ourselves to you in obedience the same way your angels in heaven obey you. As for ourselves, Lord, help us not to seek the grand things of life. Help us not to worry about the future, but we humbly ask that you would open your bountiful hand, the one on which we always depend. Give us our daily supply for what we need today and teach us to let you take care of the rest. Though in many respects we have been disobedient and ungrateful children, yet we Beg you, compassionate Father, to forgive us our offenses. We know we are guilty in your book with debts that we can never repay. But please forgive those debts, even as we forgive others, even those who have offended and injured us. We ask for the same kind of pardon that we are willing to extend to others. 
And do not bring us into places of pressing temptation where we would lose our integrity and our soul would be endangered. But if we must be tried, graciously rescue us from the power of the evil one, that he would not triumph. We know you can do these things for your children, and we humbly trust that you will, because yours is the universal kingdom, the fullness of almighty power, and the glory of infinite perfection. To you be the praise of all forever. Amen. So may it be. We sincerely and earnestly desire that you may be glorified and our prayers heard and accepted. Amen and amen. Philip Doddridge from Piercing Heaven will read more of these prayers in the coming days. The Lord bless you. Daily Devotions with Pastor Jim Thomas is a resource of the Village Chapel in Nashville, Tennessee. If you find this daily devotional beneficial, leave a review and share it with friends and family. For more resources or to support our ministry, visit our website, thevillagechapel.com. Artwork for this podcast by Kim Thomas. Music by Phil Kagey.